Hey viewers, my name is Kara. I'm your host for Tuesdays on The Pagan Perspective, and this week we're talking about fertility. The topic will be in the description, and our questioner is asking about our ideas and thoughts about fertility, creation, self-development, things like that from a pagan point of view. The exact text will be below, I already said that. So what I did just to save time because I'm recording this Monday night after rehearsal and I want to get this up as well as a video that will be on my personal channel by the time you see this. And to save time and make sure that I don't ramble because this is a, a video that I could really just keep talking about and repeating the same things because I feel like I don't really have a lot to say. What I did is I scripted it, so I'm also going to post it to my blog for anyone who would like to or needs to read it rather than hearing it, it'll be scripted. The link to the blog will be in the description as well. So to get started, I would like to begin with a quote. It's a lyric from the musical Rent, and it is, The opposite of war isn't peace, it's creation. And it's such a quick line, you know, it's just kind of in there, but it's like, what? It's something that you don't always think about and I feel that it's related to this because creation is one of the many ways of thinking about fertility. That was not in the script, sorry. Back to the script. As an unmarried 20-something female, I am in the company of peers for whom fertility is very relevant. I, myself, am not at all ready for the most obvious and literal use of the word, at least as far as what many people think of first when they hear the word fertility. So to me, at this time in my life and in my practice, fertility mostly relates to creation and possibility and potential. And I love everything about that. In my view, things don't always have to be literal. They can also be symbolic. On the other hand, sometimes things aren't symbolic and don't have any hidden meanings. They just are what they are. Fertility is something that goes both ways. Gerald Gardner, for whom the Gardnerian tradition of Wicca is named, was very concerned with fertility in regards to human reproduction, so I hear. In my practice, that certainly has its own place, but the other definitions of the word are more forefront in my life right now. Things like creativity and growth and nurturing things other than children. <laughs> So when we talk about what fertility means according to the pagan beliefs, it really depends, as everything does, on what group of pagans you mean, or what individual pagan you mean. For me, fertility is many things, from my own potential to mother children, to finding myself full of creative ideas and possibility, to literally growing things in my garden. And gosh, I can't wait for spring. Like anything, I don't think there is an overall pagan belief about fertility. I haven't done much work with the idea of fertility from a magical standpoint, however, because at this point in my life, the connotations of that word are a bit much for me. When I do workings for growth or such things, I tend to use words like growth, creation, prosperity, or whatever the case may be. I've never done work for fertility, as in the example given with your friend's decision to have a child. I think that's wonderful and beautiful and exciting. I just have not done any work with that. I've recently been reading about several deities related to fertility, simply because I was looking to find the connections between some deities and was reading in a book simply titled The Goddess and learned that all these different goddesses are associated with fertility. Some of them are also related to destruction, balancing out the complexity that is the divine female, capable of both nurturing and hindering, creating and destroying. In that sense, I feel a great sense of power in my own potential and fertility, if you will. Unfortunately, I can't offer any personal experiences other than these thoughts, at least not at this time in my life. I also can't comment on recent societal debates related to this topic, though I knew a lot more about issues like surrogacy and savior siblings a couple years ago in undergrad when I was taking a course on genetics, identity, and popular culture. Then I was required to read, watch, and debate about such issues. Now I don't feel like I remember enough about them. Perhaps if we were seated around a table and someone could refresh my memory, 
I'd be able to hold a decent conversation about it. But I also didn't feel that was the direction I wanted this topic to go. Fertility, to me, when the word is said, means a few things. It means babies, children, parenthood, a growing responsibility, and thrusting into adulthood that I am not ready for at this time. It also means growing flowers and plants, fruits and vegetables in my garden, and that kind of reproduction I am very comfortable with. It also means that I am, and everyone around me is, bursting with the potential to create life, both literal and symbolic. That is powerful. That is inspiring and intimidating. It fills me with a sense of wonder, awe, and a sort of pride, but also a bit of fear. Because as they say, with great power comes great responsibility. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next week. These are some great topics, you guys. Until next time, don't forget to be awesome. Mike Falzone, this is going to be awesome. Blessed be, and goodbye. The opposite of war isn't peace, it's creation. Love you, Boa.